Hi, this is Jan from Janda's Reviews, and I thought I would tell you guys um, the things that I've been loving this past month. So, um, let's just get the fun stuff out of the way. The lips. Uh, I don't have anything on my lips right now, which I may change in just a second. Um, but <clears throat> I've got a few new items, and so you'll be seeing some of these items again um, in my What I Purchased This Month video, also coming soon. Um, but <clears throat> this lip liner from LA Girl, this is their Ultimate Intense Lip, uh, Intense Stay, excuse me, Auto Liner. Um, and this is in the shade Enduring Mauve. And that's what she looks like. And it's just the most softest mauve. I mean, it's a pink, obviously, uh, but it's not a purpley pink like most mauves typically are. This I would say this is more towards your neutrals. Um, it's very soft. It is very creamy. It doesn't feather or bleed, uh, which is also nice. And I've been pairing it with, hang on, um, this Milani Ludicrous um, lip gloss. And this is in the shade Fanny Pack. And I know this doesn't look like it would go with that at all. This is such a deeper, darker pink. But they pair so well together. They're just, they're beautiful. And this does have a slight tingling sensation, but it's not intense. It's not um, difficult to wear. Not uncomfortable. I would say it's more minty feeling than stinging. And then um, and other times, I used my Pretty Vulgar... Um, Poisonous Pout lip gloss. And I'm trying to read what this says. Um, poisonous Pout. I'm going to need a magnifying glass to read that. Sorry. There you go. I just can't make it out. But this has been a favorite for a while, and I'm just, I guess I've been in a kind of a pink mood. So I've been wearing a pink lip and a pink cheek quite often. Which leads me to my next <clears throat> favorite of the month. This Wet n Wild blush. Um, this is in the color P Pinch Me Pink. And... This is not a matte blush, nor is it a shimmer. It's a satin. So there's a very subtle glow when you put this on your cheeks. It's beautiful. It's not um, overly pigmented, so you can build it up quickly. But it looks very flattering and very natural on the skin. Um, and then might as well go ahead and what I've been, it says contouring and blush. But I don't contour per se. And um, what the, this is in St. Lucia. I use this more as a bronzer. And I uh, also like the peachy blush. It's um, a deeper peach, more golden. So it also looks very natural on the cheeks. It looks like a, a natural flush would if you uh, tended towards, you know, peachy tones. And then, you know, the... Bronzer is very light, but it's not gray toned, so I would not, I wouldn't contour with it. So, yeah, to each their own, right? So that's what I've been loving for those. Um, let's see. I've been all over this palette this month. Um, mostly, I've been wearing very natural looks, um, and I've just been contouring my eye, um, going in between 
Truffle and Muse there on the very top. Between this shade here and this shade here. And, um, you know, this, you can go pink, you can go peach, you can go uh, green, you can go gray. You know, this has got a little bit of everything. It's just the perfect palette for any time of year. So I've really been enjoying that. Um, and then the last two things that I wanted to mention. Well, okay, there's a, there's a bonus item, but I'm going to wait till the end for that one. I picked these up with my Ipsy Glam bag um, as add-ons. They were uh, $3 samples. And I picked up the Feel 4D Hyaluronic Acid Under Eye Cream. I love this stuff. Um, I'm seriously thinking about getting a full size of it, even though I've got multiple under eye creams, including one that I also bought, but I, I've got that in a different video. I haven't tried it yet. Oh, excuse me. This is very creamy, very hydrating. It doesn't peel up. Um, I'll take a pea-sized amount, squish it between my two pointers here. Put it here, smooth it out to the, you know, crow's feet. And then I smooth it out from here and then down over my um, left, you know, smile lines. And then anything else, you know, I'll, I'll take over my cheeks. But it is so I don't, rich feeling, I guess. Um, it's very, makes your skin feels very supple. It's 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 lovely. I'm sorry. I know I use that word a lot, but this is just lovely. I really want a full size, even though I've got, I know, at least five eye creams that I should use before buying a full size of any eye cream. But damn, I really like this stuff. And then the Tatcha water cream. Um, I've tried the Tatcha, what is it, Pink Peony? I don't know. It was, it was watery essence kind of stuff. No problems. Um, sheet mask, problems. I had an allergic reaction. It made my face just burn and turn red. So I knew this was a gamble. It might work. It might not. Um, but yeah, no allergic reaction whatsoever. I've been using this for a few weeks now, and I really like it. It's um, it's expensive. That's the bad thing. Um, it is lightly fragranced. Um, it's a cream formula, but once you smooth it over your skin, it feels more like a gel, and it absorbs very, very quickly. Um, I have found, though, if you use too much, it will peel up on you. So... You don't need a lot. Your skin will tell you when you've had enough. And it's just, it's beautiful. It's something that I just got. And I've only used today. Yeah. But it's so pretty. I'm going to share it. <clears throat> it's not in my favorites, but it's just pretty. So, yeah. This is the Revolution Pro. This is their um, Luster Highlighter. I got this off of Ulta. Okay, you ready? Is that not gorgeous? Look at that. So pretty. Yeah. I have that here and then also on my inner corner. So, yeah. It's so pretty. So, I've been enjoying that. It's not um, a chunky glitter. It's uh, very finely milled. Um, it can look a little glittery at first when you first apply it, but I found if you um, buff your brush over it, it smooths it out. It doesn't emphasize your texture and um, the glitteriness fades and it looks more pearly. So, yeah, you get more of a, you can put it on heavier and then it looks metallic. So, um, almost foiled. 
it's it's really pretty. I like it. It's very, very soft to the touch. So I could see, you know, if you press really hard, you can flatten that rose right out. Oh gosh. But sorry. Got up at eight o'clock this morning. Yeah. Drink a pot of coffee. Caffeine's wearing off. So um those would be my favorites. Mm, any fails? Well, kinda. Um one I don't have anymore. That's how bad a fail it was. Um, it was Kiehl's. Gosh, I've got... Hang on. Kiehl's Multi Corrective Cream. Um, the texture of it it was really firm to the touch and then it liquefied as you were applying it to your face and it would not absorb uh it peeled up and it left a really greasy almost like you're you were coated in plastic feeling your skin just felt awful so i have it away hated it used it once couldn't even force myself to use it a second time yeah it was that bad this crap's expensive. Um, then, like most months, I had a few concealer fails. <laughs> the um, I heard really good things about this L'Oreal True Match Eye Cream in a Concealer. It's supposed to be you know good for your under eyes in a, a decent concealer. Well, it is. It doesn't emphasize texture at all. It does moisturize your under eyes, but it also doesn't do much to hide your dark circles. Now. Redness, yes, it helped with that, but I have fairly severe dark circles and this did absolutely nothing. They just, they looked gray. So they didn't cover them, they just changed the color a little bit. So that was a little bit of a disappointment. Um, and then I also tried this All May Skin Perfecting Comfort Concealer. And this is in a stick. And let me pop the top off there. There you go. It's very, very creamy. Um, this has better coverage than the L'Oreal True Match, but it also did not cover my um, under eye circles and it's drier. Um, it does show the texture. So, yeah. I was really, really hopeful because I'd seen great reviews on this all May, but mm, no. And even mixing the two, trying to get the best of both, no. I still just ended up with gray under eyes that were slightly dry. So, yeah. And then, this isn't really a fail. Just a odd thing that happened. <laughs> Ipsy was having a flash sale and they were offering um, the Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks, two of them for $16, which I think the normal cost of one is $16 or $18. So two, heck yeah. And I saw one of them was Supernatural, which had been sold out on Ulta forever. So um, I ordered it. So I got Supernatural and then I also got, um, what is this other one? knock on wood this one's a fail <laughs> it's straight up brown i mean this is 90s grunge brown and even in the 90s i didn't wear grunge brown i wore deep dark bordeaux um you know dark purpley reds not brown <laughs> so that was just kind of a funny one so it's, you know, even though I got two for the price of one, I still only got one. <laughs> yeah, I was just kind of... Um, I thought I would give you all a quick little update on the Ulta. <clears throat> this would be um, the under eye brightener in medium to dark. And let me grab the light to medium just so you all can see the difference. 
we go. I'll twist them up a good amount so you can see it fairly easily. Okay, light to medium and medium to dark. So there you go. You can see there's quite a bit of difference in the tones. Um, the light to medium does a does a, a fairly good job, but it wasn't completely neutralizing the dark circles. So I thought I would try the medium to dark. And this one does a better job, but um, I was finding whenever I'd put my concealer on, it would make my concealer kind of orangey. But I found a solution to that. Um, if you have to correct your under eyes and you find that the corrector you're using is bleeding through, number one, less is more. But number two, go in with, and it can be a pressed powder, it can be a loose powder, it doesn't matter. Just go in with your powder and set the under eye corrector first with a light powder, not heavily, just very lightly to where it's set where it's um, not moist looking anymore and then go in over the top then with your concealer it won't bleed through it'll keep your eyes you know neutralized and your concealer is going to do a better job so just thought I would share that since I just found out about that um, and that would be thanks to um, Smitha Deepak she's got a YouTube channel and I've been watching a lot of her videos lately um, She's a makeup artist, um, an Indian, East Indian, you know, overseas, uh, lovely, beautiful woman. But um, I came across a video because I've really been wanting to learn how to do, um, you know, how they, they wing out the eye and then they bring it down to a, an inner point. And she has a really great video on how to do that and zooms in super close. And her videos are very, very instructive. Um, I really appreciate the how close she gets to her face and showing the, the specific tools that she prefers and why. She's um, an excellent instructor. I've still yet to summon the courage to attempt this cat eye with the, the inner point, but yeah. She... Uh, corrects her under eyes, which are also purpley, with an orange corrector and then sets it with powder so it doesn't bleed through. So I tried it and it does work. Uh, it works on dry skin, believe it or not. The only bad thing is, is you know, if you um, moisturize heavily, which I tend to do to um, try and counteract drying concealers, well, the two coats of powder to set your under eye corrector and your concealer are absolutely going to cancel that out. So you're going to end up with slightly dry under eyes, but it's okay. It's not the end of the world, right? At least you don't have dark circles. You're just going to, they're not completely crepey. You'll just see a little bit of creasing and, you know, tiny wrinkles. It's not bad. So I thought I would share that. Um, that probably wraps it up for this month. I can't think of anything else. I'm looking through. I've got a. Uh, I did some shopping. I did a lot of shopping. But a lot of shit I shouldn't have. For instance, um, this Hey Honey, Open Your Eyes Lifting Eye Serum. Yeah. What was I thinking? I mean, really. This is my unused skincare bin. Yeah. Let's see. Um, one, two, three, four. Is that it? Yeah, I'm surprised. I thought I had another one. Uh, four unopened, brand new eye creams and serums to use. Yeah. Just sitting down here chilling, waiting for me to finish up my stuff. Um, I will mention my empties. Now that I'm 
thinking about it because I did finish an eye cream and this is a good point time to bring that up um so I will be replacing my Dr. Brandt do not age 24 7 retinol eye cream um, I use this at night um, because retinol uh, will sensitize your skin for sunlight so you end up with sunburn if you use it during the daytime and you don't remember to add sunscreen so um, I used this one at night and then I never had any issues with it and um, I really liked it I liked the feel of it um, didn't dry my under eyes out I didn't see a huge lot of difference. It didn't correct anything, but I enjoyed it. <sighs> Sorry, I've got the yawns. And then I also finally used up my Cetaphil. Um, deep hydration, healthy glow, daily cream. I really like this. Um, if I ever get to the point where I don't have any more face moisturizers, I will probably go to Walgreens or Walmart or whatever and buy um, a tube or tub, however the stuff comes in full size, get this because I really, really, really liked it. And then the other empty that I have is this Tarte Maracuja Tinted Hydrator. And um, I got several of these. These are a little sample. These, these are both sample sizes. Um, I got this from, you know, Ipsy add-ons. And I got a couple of them in different shades because I wasn't exactly sure what color I needed. And this is 13N, which is, um, I don't know, I've got it written down over here because the type is teeny tiny. And this is in the shade. <sighs> Trying to get to my note that I covered up because I was going to add empties on to another video, but I think I'm just going to do it with this one. Um, 13N, which, yes, fair, light, neutral. And I finally used this up. I squeezed and squeezed and squeezed until there wasn't any more. Um, but I do have this uh, in a full size. This is the correct shade. I also have 11N, which is, um, I think it's fair, light, cool. But yeah, it, it was, it, it wasn't quite right. This one is, is spot on. It's great. You can kind of see there the color. And I really like the Maracuja oil that's in the um, tinted hydrator. It um, absorbs into your skin so it doesn't look like you're wearing makeup. And it just, it takes care of all the redness that I get in my cheeks and around my nose, which bother me. Um, now, of course, it's not nearly enough coverage to even think about correcting my under eyes. But like I said, for evening out my skin tone overall, it's great. You know, I really like it. So, yay! So I think... I'm going to end my video there. Um, I am going to have another video soon. I'm not going to film it today, um, but there will be another video coming on um, all my purchases that I did in April. There are a bunch. I mean, I have got two and a half pages, so it would be. 36 individual items. So, <clears throat> quite a few things that I bought. I shopped. I shouldn't have, but I did. Uh, I have a problem, I know. Nobody needs this much makeup. Nobody. And if I didn't have a YouTube channel, I would still have this much makeup because I like it. My face is my canvas. And I wanted to paint on my daughter's face yesterday and she wouldn't let me. It very much upset me. So, actually it was the day before yesterday. It was Wednesday. Yeah. Wednesday is when we did that. So, I'm going to get off of here and um, maybe head over to my Instagram if you haven't. It's the same name, Jane Does Reviews. 
and you might see something there that catches your interest. I don't always post the same stuff, so I appreciate it. If you wouldn't mind, give this video a like, subscribe if you haven't, and share me with a friend. I could always use more friends. So, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay happy if you can.